Hello friends, welcome back. This is the gas powered suspension which I am gonna install in my Activa today. This suspension, suspension comes installed on TVS Jupiter from the TVS company. I am installing this on my Activa because the stock as suspension on Activa, rear suspension isn't good in potholes while riding this is gas powered so this dampens the potholes little bit good the stock suspension which comes installed on activa is actually filled with oil or it's actually liquid based liquid powered suspension so the liquid dries out or it leaks sometime and the suspension doesn't work as before my Activa is crossed 5 years now so I am changing the rear suspension to this gas powered suspension this will increase the rear height of the seat so without any further ado let's begin with this video one more thing guys this uh, suspension I bought it for around 1100 rupees including all taxes uh, no 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 sorry 1010 rupees inclusive all taxes and uh, you will have to buy it from TVS showroom no oh, sorry TVS service center itself this is not available online so make sure you buy it from TVS showroom uh, TVS service center itself let's begin with the video Ok guys let's begin with the video As you can see the seat has also been changed on my Activa The seat guy installed another cushion on this to make it little bit higher And it's softer than before right now Ok so to install this suspension you will have to remove this whole cover panel here Engine cover panel here Open that what you have to do is Remove this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and if you have guards installed on the Activa, then these two bolts, and then what you have to do is lift this hood up and uh, use that stand which holds the panel upright. After that, you will have a hood release wire here underneath you have to undo that as well after that this whole panel will come out so i will do that and get back to you okay so as you can see now i have lifted the hood up and used though and used those that stand which comes installed in this activa now the first thing which you have to do is remove this connector here which has this brown wires and all this connector because this gets connected to your tail light indicator lights etc then the next thing which you have to do is you will have a hood lock wire here for that what you have to do is just lift this upwards like this The wire has came out Now once you remove that This connector This whole hood, hood Will re uh, Get released And you can remove this And keep it aside So I will do that again and get back to you Ok so as you can see I removed the hood now The panel here now you will have to remove two bolts here one is this and one more is right here this is 12 number 
12 mm and this one is 14 mm undo these two bolts then the suspension will come out and as you can see this suspension is a normal one the suspension I am going to install right now is gas powered it's uh, powered with nitrogen and oil and this is only oil as you ride and the vehicle crosses over 10,000 kilometers the suspension the oil inside it gets thin and the suspension doesn't work fluently or smoothly so I'm changing this right now let's I'll remove this two bolts and get back to you okay guys so I removed these two bolts and uh, the tire is lying on the road now you can see the bolt has been removed and this is this old suspension now I will show you the difference between the both as you can see this suspension is slightly big, bigger than the old suspension so the height will slightly increase not too much okay to install the suspension now you have to reverse the procedure which you did to remove the old suspension so I will install the suspension back and get back to you okay guys the suspension has been installed now make sure you tighten these two bolts properly because this suspension has to bear too many potholes as you can see you have a marking here yellow line make sure you match it and uh, tighten that re bolt below here also while installing this bolt you will have to lift a lift this tire so you will have to you will have need another person to lift that tire make sure you get your friend or anyone else to help you in this procedure in my procedure my brother is helping me uh, so after installing the suspension replace that hood back make sure you connect that connector and uh, this hood rail is wire as well then tighten these three bolts inside that hood and your and this if you have your guard then these two bolts as well and that's all for this so I will install the hood back and get back to you okay okay as you can see I have finished installing the hood back I installed two new bolts here because the old one were rusted too much make sure you connect this connector back again and uh, this hood release wire make sure you install it correctly or the seat won't open and now what you have to do is install the three bolts inside that hood in under seat storage and uh, that's all for it I will install those three bolts and get back to you so as you can see I installed those three bolts one two and three and the installation for this process has been done here so that's all for this video make sure you give a you drop a big thumbs up on this video like this video share this video and subscribe to this channel for and press the bell icon to never miss an update from this channel and many more upcoming modifications that's all don't be a squid ride safe